Well, when Rahul Gandhi travels abroad, both the BJP and the Congress party observe it very closely. Congress, because they feel that these opportunities or the interactions which Rahul Gandhi has abroad, he would at least be able to showcase the argument of the Congress that all is not right in India, how there has been a compromise of democracy. So no, no surprises in the first speech that Rahul Gandhi gave. And over there he spoke about the points that, first of all, the Prime Minister has little concern about the real issues. But what became a controversy was the fact that he talked about the scepter, which of course is the Sengol. He also spoke about uh, the new parliament buildings and they, saying that these are merely uh, diversionary tactics. And the real issues of unemployment and price rise are not being uh, focused upon by the government at all. I think if you, if you sat Modi ji down next to God, Modi ji would start explaining to God how the universe works. <laughs> God would get confused that what have I created? <laughs> so so these, are, these are funny things, but, but really this is what is going on. We have a group of people you know, who understand everything. When you look at another person, you have to appreciate that they have an experience, they have a life, they've seen things, and maybe you can learn a lot from them. If you, if you believed in anger, hatred, arrogance, you'd be sitting in a BJP meeting. <laughs> right? And I would be doing man ki baat. But more than that, when he talked about how the RSS and the BJP controls the politics, how they are agencies which are misused, and also the fact is that the minorities are being targeted. What it essentially means that the Congress uses these interactions to push forward its electoral slogan for 2024. Normal tools that we used to use for politics, conversations like this, public meetings, were simply not working anymore. All the instruments that we needed to do politics in India, they were controlled by the BJP and the RSS. You know, people are threatened. Cases are put on people. Agencies are used on people. So we also are finding that in some way, it had become quite difficult to act politically. You know, I think the Parliament House these are, these are distractions. The real issues in India are unemployment, price rise, spread of anger and hatred. Nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukaan. That is the best way I can say it. Which is that it is, it is felt most strongly by the Muslim community. Okay? Because uh, it is done most directly to them. But in fact, it is being done to all minorities. I can guarantee you that the same way you are feeling uh, attacked, I can guarantee you my Sikh brothers are feeling the same thing. This happens periodically in India. What is happening, for example, to the Muslim community in India today happened to the Dalit community in the 80s. If you went to UP in the 80s, the Dalit community, what is happening with the Muslims and what's happening with the Dalits there. So periodically this type of stuff happens and we have to challenge it, we have to fight it, and we have to fight it with affection. For the BJP, it is also an opportunity for them to play this entire card on how Rahul Gandhi goes abroad and he demeans the country every time he does so. Because when you run down the Prime Minister and your country, our opponents abroad, for example, Pakistan, get more and more emboldened. When you talk about minorities being targeted or Muslims being targeted, you are actually echoing the thoughts or the words of Pakistan who have always accused India of so, not paying any attention to the fact that the minorities there, which is the Hindus, are also being equally targeted by the Pakistani government. Of course, controversy has also broken out with allegations coming in from the BJP that there were pro-Khalistani slogans also which was shouted in amongst the audience. There are also allegations coming in from the BJP that the kind of organizers are the ones who are considered to be 
anti-India. Similar kind of an allegation against these organizers when Rahul Khan, if you remember, had gone earlier to UK. In the next couple of days, we are going to see more and more interactions from the, uh, Rahul Gandhi, different kinds of people being represented, NRIs, professionals, students, uh, celebrities and some politicians as well. And for the BJP, they think that this is going to give them an opportunity to hit back at Rahul Gandhi once again. This is Rahul Gandhi's first visit abroad after he has been disqualified as a member of parliament. A point which is likely to raise in the press conference also which he is expected to hold in the next couple of days.